Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you the logging features of Bone MIDI Translator Pro. The logging capabilities are a key tool in troubleshooting and testing as you develop your new project. For this tutorial, I'll start with a project I've previously created and take you through some of the features. MIDI in will capture anything that comes to any port that has been defined within the project. MIDI out will capture anything that you've defined as, as an outgoing port within the project. Please note that MIDI in and MIDI out do not capture non-MIDI events such as incoming or outgoing keystrokes. Incoming and outgoing is a little bit different than MIDI in and MIDI out. It will only capture events that a given translator that is enabled is set up to capture. So it will not capture any events or any MIDI events that a translator hasn't been set up for. In addition, incoming and outgoing events are also non-MIDI events such as keystrokes, mouse movements, etc. Rules captures any rules that you have within any translator and it will show you the rule number and I'll show you that in a few minutes. Uh, but anything, if you want to know what is going on within your logic in the rules sections of your translator, that's where you would use rules. Finally, time stamped uh, will add a time stamp to everything that happens in your log window. Uh, that can be useful if you're trying to figure out the timing of things and whether things are happening at, at the proper time that you expected. So let me show you an example of a MIDI in and MIDI out event with a note message. So I'm going to click MIDI in, MIDI out. I'm going to press a note. You can see it goes both in and out. The out is transcribed or transposed as defined in this project. If I hit a control controller, you can also see MIDI incoming, but there's no MIDI out because I don't have any translators defined to handle that particular control. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but instead of looking at MIDI in and MIDI out, I'm going to look at incoming and outgoing and rules. And then we can see what is happening within Bone MIDI Translator uh, that is processing the, these events. So if I push one button, you can see the input, you can see the rule, what's happening, that we're transposing that note to a different note, and we can see the output. Uh, con consequently, when I release the button, we see the same thing. So you're noticing that you're not only getting rules in or the uh, actual event coming in, the rule that's being uh, applied to that event, and then the outgoing. You will also notice that there is a numbering convention for any incoming, outgoing, or rules events. The first number identifies the preset that's being used for that particular event. The second number indicates the translator that's being used for that particular event. And the final number is the rule number that is being used for that particular event. So in this particular case, rule 0.0 colon 1 is preset 0, translator 0, rule number 1. Rules are defined in order that they appear in the rule screen as shown here on the right. This concludes.